I usually don't film in this area of my room. Usually it's a lot more messier, but I cleaned it up just for you to be kind to you because I don't want you to see mess. Um, and I thought it'd be fun to just kind of change up the scenery, sit down, take it easy. You can tell I have these black trash bags with me because something serendipitous has occurred uh, in the Raya spirit. I got some free yarn. <laughs> Slay! Before we start, hi, my name is Bash Harry. I run the Harry Knit. Uh, we do knitwear here, a lot of knitting, a lot of um, crafty stuff. And I'm uh, not wearing a lot of knits. Actually, that's not true. I'm this, which is the Chahaya bandana. I think once this video is out, it is currently being test knitted. But you can, I'll, I'll, if I have like the Ravelry ready, I'll leave a link there. But right now it's being test knitted. If you want any updates, you can just check out my Instagram at the Harry Knit. But that's not what the video for today is about. Um, I actually don't know what the video for today is about. Usually I tend to be a lot more concise, but we're gonna come into this video with some excitement, with a surprise, because I recently got two trash bags full of yarn um, from a girl. Last week she DM'd me it was just a random Monday. I think I was heading to the gym or something and she was like, hi, do you want some free yarn? I, I don't have use for it. I thought it was good for tufting, but it's not. It's like milk cotton or cotton like if you want it. And I was, you know, I couldn't say no to free yarn. So I, I got free yarn and I didn't think it was going to be that much. We met on like I think it was the Friday or something and then we picked it up and me and my me and my partner my fiance we met up with her and we got this heavy bag of yarn and I thought we could go through them together because I don't really know what's in it um so thank you Mitch for providing with me providing me the yarn that's so fun that's so cool um, and I have, and I'm still technically on my yarn ban, at least for the next three to six months. Uh, three to, three, May, June, July, three months, three months. And I still have time to like buy more yarn when I'm uh, on my honeymoon. This is where the yarn is supposed to be, but I have a lot of yarn outside at my shelf area, which is fine. It's fine there, except for the fact that I have a lot of, I can see myself in the mirror. Hold on. It's distracting me a little bit. This is supposed to be where the yarn is supposed to go, but it's kind of scattered about. I have like two empty boxes. I've got my hair stuff and miscellaneous things there. Um, I think I do need to spend some time today just sorting through my yarn. And I hope that's the case. I hope I can do that sometime next week. So hopefully my room would just be covered in yarn and I am just excited to see what we've got. What is this? Like this. I got this yarn from her and I'm not entirely sure what yarn this is and I'm pretty sure this is kind of like a DK. These yarns, because I don't know what the fabric or the material or fiber is, I'm just going to assume it is a I did not realize that. I thought it was just like a two-in-one. Um, yeah, I'm just going to assume that they're all either acrylic, because I think that is the best way to think about yarn. So it's not likely I'm going to make clothes out of this. I'll probably just make bags or even bandanas like this. I'm not going to take the time to swatch, at least not yet. Maybe I'll give myself some time to do so, but not now, not this afternoon. So I lost my train of thought, <laughs> but I'm probably going to keep these somewhere. These, I think a majority of 
the yarn she got me are cones of different varying colors. How many do we have? We have a lot. I'm gonna take them all out. So that's one. So that's 14 balls of yarn from one bag. And then this one. This is a lot of yarn. <laughs> 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. 26 cones of yarn. That is a lot of yarn. I guess we're gonna figure out how we're gonna sort this out. This is a lot of yarn. Um, I think the best course of action would be because I don't know what the fiber materials are, and some of them are wrapped in plastic, which good on her for doing that. I do not wrap my yarn in plastic. These are definitely not for tufting, which is what I think uh, the girl who gave these yarns to me was. These are definitely a lot more like knitting yarns, but a lot. some of these yarns are differently spun than others. Just take, for example, this one where it's this really pretty lavender, but you can see that it's spun much thinner than something like this purple pink color. You can see that the yarns are differently winded. So I'm trying to figure out where I can put all of this yarn because I'm pretty sure a lot of this is acrylic maybe some cotton, but I'm pretty sure it's acrylic, which is fine. I don't have a lot of acrylic in my yarn stash. And especially if I want to make stuff for like um, bags, I think, especially for my own little orders here and there, I think these would be really good to make for, for people. Overall though, I think this is a pretty nice yarn haul. I'm gonna have to figure out what to do. I think the next course of action is putting this all up on my Ravelry database. If I have some time today, I think I'm going to take photos of each yarn and probably just give some notes on top of that. So that way I know this color, this color, yada, 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 and kind of like the estimated wraps per inch, WPI. Because at least if I know the wraps per inch, I kind of roughly know if it's a DK or Aaron. Like looking at this, I'm pretty sure a lot of this is DK and maybe some Aran weight. Nothing too bulky, nothing very fine, but all super fun colors. Ah. I've been playing Taylor Swift while I've been cleaning up that section of my yarn stash. Watch next week as I'm going to reorganize it because I really definitely need to reorganize my yarn stash. Um, but I think that's pretty cute. Let me know if there's any other ways that I can clean up and organize my new balls of yarn because um, right now I don't have any. But I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. 
let me know uh, what to do with all of this yarn. That'd be great. Or even how to like organize it better um, and figure out what the different gauges is. I feel like I need like a physical and digital database, not just on Ravelry, but like on Google Sheets and maybe even a file system. I think that would be easy, especially as I can tell my stash is slowly growing a bit more than my house, my room. Um, but yeah, I think that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Bash Harry uh, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!